All right, I want to talk about your character for a second. Both from the books and the films, Kate Blanchett previously portraying... I know what it is you saw. Do you talk to the actress? Do you reach out? How does something like this work for you? Um, I don't talk to Kate Blanchett, but I think about her all the time. <laughs> well, I play Galadriel, who's the Lady of Light. Galadriel is someone who is, has an edge of danger about her because she is a ring bearer. I pass the test. I will diminish and go into the West and remain Galadriel. Honestly, like those films and her and Arwen, I was just so obsessed with. So it still feels very surreal. Um, it's like your character is really a driving force in the series. You just hear Galadriel. The moment we feared. How would you describe where she kind of is in the saga when we pick up? So, Middle Earth is experiencing a period of peace, but she doesn't believe it. And so she kind of is screaming into the void, um, almost in her own horror to a degree, because she feels there's something so dangerous and no one is taking her seriously. Your characters from both the books and the films, um, with Hugo Weaving previously portraying. You have only one choice. The ring must be destroyed. Elrond is the fount of wisdom. He has this understanding about what has happened. So are you kind of predating his performance? How does it all work? Well, the show takes place thousands and thousands of years before right. The Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, so I focused a lot of my research on uh, the fair stage history, uh, what came before Elrond. Our days of peace begin. When we pick up in the series, where, where do we find your character in the saga? It's a sort of right-hand man to the king, really. He's young in elf years, so he's still learning. You know, he's not a lord yet. He's very interested in uh, different peoples of Middle-earth, which we, we get to see a little bit of. He's a, he's a servant, you know. It was in this moment, when all hope had faded, that Isildur, son of the king, took up his father's sword. character specifically is a complicated legacy in the books. What can you tell me? When we pick up in the show, where's your character in the saga? Um, we obviously know where he ends. Right. Destroy it! No. There's definitely a weight of expectation on my shoulders to, to kind of fulfill everyone's idea because they have a sense of ownership over this character. Right. They know what's happened. We find him at a bit of a crossroads. He has a strenuous relationship with his father. Uh, he wants to, on one hand, fulfill his father's dream and become a sea captain like him, but also there's like this deep yearning for something else. It's a bit reckless. He may not make the right choices all the time, but I think he does it with a lot of love. And I think you can see a lot of yourself in him. If I can make, if I can make this guy relatable, then maybe you, it would allow you to go on this journey of, of kind of tragic mistakes, I guess. For the people that aren't familiar with this series, how, how would you simply describe this series. I dare you to describe it simply. I think it's about it's about friendship and bravery. Yeah. And I think you know everyone has the capacity for evil and darkness, but there's always shades of light. Yes. And I think this show really explores that, you know. We're setting up a lot of different worlds. There's 21 characters, season regulars, you know. But I think you I think we all color the world in our own specific way and you'll fall in love with everyone in your own way.